Hello, today we'll be looking at Washington Square Mall. The other Washington Square Mall. This is the one in Evansville, Indiana. Washington Square Mall was opened in October 31st, 1963, which makes it the first enclosed shopping center in Indiana. Developed by Erie Investments, the mall was originally anchored by Sears and an A&P supermarket. Louisville-based Stewart Dry Goods was added as a second anchor store in 1969. The store, as well as the entire chain, was merged with Indianapolis's Ellis Airs chain in 1980. After the larger Eastland Mall opened in 1982, Washington Square struggled to retain stores. In 1987, the mall was remodeled and expanded to help it compete with the newer mall. The expansion was initially successful and the mall was sold a few years later to Facet Financial. Facing even more department store consolidation, Ellis Airs closed in January 1992. The location was converted into a Dayton, Ohio based Elder Rearbun, which held its grand opening in October 1993. The store was shuttered in December 2000. As Elder Buren said, the mall lacks a strong tenant base. As a result, the vacancy rates at the mall climbed with much businesses being lost to Eastland Mall. This is where the uh, merchant's outlet used to be, down this wing. And I absolutely love the purple neon throughout the entire mall. You'll see a lot of it, but very interesting aesthetic to it. Yeah, love the purple neon. In 2002, the struggling Washington Square Mall was sold to the local real estate developer, Gene Hahn. A portion of the former Elder Beerman store was home to a Values Unlimited discount mark between October 2004 and March 2007. In July 2010, Merchants Outlet Mall opened, utilizing all of the two-level store space until its two-year lease expired in 2012. Washington Square Mall is rebranded as Washington Square after it was purchased in November 2016 by a New York-based real estate developer. The new owner is doing business as Evansville Holdings LLC. Over the next year, improvements were slow to be made, but new parking lot lighting and signage have brought hope to nearby residents, as you will see later. And like some malls, they'll have like a section where they'll have pictures of, of the history of the mall itself. And I always love that type of thing. And you will see like some of the evolutions of some of these malls from over the decades. And it's, it's really cool.
And I think this is like a thrift store that opened up in one of the areas of the mall. On Thursday, January 4th, 2018, Sears announced they were closing 103 stores nationwide, which included the Washington Square store. On April 8th, 2018, the Sears location closed for good in Washington Square Mall. This now leaves the mall with no anchor stores. One of the most unique things about Washington Square is the food court, which is just just really, really unique take on it, where it looks like you're just inside of like a massive circus tent. A tent you would see in like a circus Olay or something. It, it, it's so cool. Like I've never seen like a mall or really anywhere in general that would have a structure like this for that. But yeah, it just looks like you're inside of a tent. Really cool. Ah, oh, I just really like the, the lights in this tree. A lot of really interesting aesthetics going on in the food court. Love it. <laughs> now I found a bit of irony coming to this mall. When I saw that there was a foot and ankle doctor, <laughs> doctor's office here. Because earlier in my adventure coming to Evansville, I was walking across an abandoned bridge. And one of the ways to get to the abandoned bridge, I had to cross you know, or climb over these roadblocks. And of course, landing one time, I rolled my ankle so over the day it started to become worse to the point where once I started walking and doing my exploration of this mall it started to hurt so much that I was almost limping throughout the mall which I am glad that Washington Square Mall isn't the most biggest mall 
but still, it was it was starting to hurt. So if it was earlier in the day and this doctor's office was open, I might have uh, poked my head in there and see if the doctor could have done something. I just I still laugh at it though. It's the, the, the irony of there being a foot and ankle doctor here. So now we'll do a drive around of Washington Square and you'll see the area where Sears obviously was. But yeah, thank you for joining me on this walkthrough of Washington Square Mall in Evansville, Indiana. I'd like to come back to Evansville in the future to do Eastland Mall, which is actually a more successful mall at this point. It's a small but quirky mall, Washington Square Mall, and it's actually interesting to find out that this was the first mall in Indiana. It was an interesting thing to find out about. Anyway, this has been Dashboardless. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.